Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. So when you buy a Windows 10 PC that is a touchscreen enabled PC, it comes with a fantastic feature known as the tablet mode. So for instance, here is a HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop. It is a full-fledged Windows 10 laptop that can be used with a keyboard, mouse, or a trackpad as you would usually do with a laptop. Or, if you desire, it can be used as a full-fledged tablet when you enable the tablet mode. Now, when you do enable the tablet mode, all you need to interact with this laptop is touch input, as you would do with an iPad or an Android tablet. So currently, my laptop is in the laptop mode, as you can see. What I am going to do is turn on the tablet mode and demonstrate how things work under this mode so you guys understand what to expect when you buy a two-in-one laptop such as this HP Spectre. Now, if you do want to buy one of these or check out the specs, I will leave a link in the description below. One of them has a 1080p screen while the other one has a Quad HD screen, which I'm using in this video. So links are below for you to check them out. For now, let's dive in. So here you go, this is the laptop mode business as usual i'm just launching the start menu you know i'm launching the file explorer i can still touch the screen because this is still a touch enabled laptop but it's still not in the tablet mode which is much more intuitive so to, to bring up the tablet mode you swipe from the right and you simply tap on the tablet mode the moment you do that as you can see you get a brand new interface now, as you can see in the center, you have a tile based app system. So you have the tiles that are apps individually, and they can be categorized. As you can see, I have them categorized under most used entertainment and shopping. And on the bottom, you have a taskbar with some buttons on it. And I'm going to show you exactly what these things do in a minute. So let's start from the right side. Let's swipe from the right side, and that's going to bring up the action center. From here, you can enable or disable the tablet mode as you please. So here's the laptop mode, here's the mm -hmm. tablet mode. You can do other things like rotation lock. So if I tap on rotation lock, that makes sure that when I rotate this laptop, the screen doesn't rotate. It's locked into position. And you have the other usual stuff such as the Bluetooth, the brightness, uh, the Wi-Fi. So if I tap that button, that changes the brightness settings as you can see, 25%, 50%, 75%, whatever you need. And of course, Windows 10 is very customizable. So let's go to all settings and just give you a quick overview of all these options that you have. So look, you got the system, devices, network, personalization, everything. Let's go into the system really quick. And then under system, you have another slew of options that you can modify. And then we can use the back button to go back. That's the back button. And let's go into personalization and let's just change the tile background. So let's tap on colors and let's just go with the red. There's the orange, there's the red. And if I go back out, okay, as you can see, all the tiles have now changed to color red. And of course, you can customize these tiles. So let's tap and hold on the Best Buy icon and just drag it over just to show you guys. There we go. And of course, you can change the name of the category. So you press and hold anywhere, you tap on the title, and you can simply edit that using the on screen keyboard. So let's change that to shop tap anywhere on the screen and the category is now called shop and of course there's so much more you can do you can create new categories drag and drop apps so let's go to the app drawer so that's the button that brings up the app drawer and as you can see all our apps are listed here and sorted by the alphabet so let's create a new category let's grab that get Skype app and drag and drop it next to the tiles and drop it, we can put it in existing category or we can drag it down and create a new category. Okay, so let me put that in the first position and let's tap on name group and let's just name this communication. So if I had uh, applications that are used for communication, I can just drag them all uh, underneath the communication title. So let's go back into the app drawer. There's many more apps here. Let's just launch a random app. Let's uh, grab the Office Depot app just tap on it and it's going to launch as a brand new window just as if this was an iPad or an Android tablet. So everything that you uh, tap on launches as a single app. You can also tap an application on the main screen and that launches the app. And then what you can do is you can tap on the task button and that brings up the task view from where you can see all the apps that you are currently running. 
you can switch between apps you can launch apps then you can press the windows button that brings you back to the home screen and you can launch more apps let's just uh, launch a bunch of apps i'm going to show you the task view one more time uh, let's uh, grab best buy and let's now press the task button and here we have the task view from where you can close the apps that you don't need and you can also switch between other apps at any time you can swipe from the right to bring up the action center and uh, there's another way to bring up the action center so let's get rid of this you can also tap that tiny icon at the bottom and that also brings up the action center so let's go back to the home screen uh, let's tap the windows icon that brings us back to the home screen and let's press that button on the top left to see what's hiding there so when you tap it you have a bunch of things going on the first thing is your profile then you have a list of the most used applications and then at the bottom you have the file explorer settings power and all apps so if we launch the file explorer from here it's going to open up as a single app remember in the tablet mode everything launches as a single app and you can switch between these apps from the task view let's go back home press that button again and you can also launch the settings right from here so the same way you launch the settings on the other side from the right you can do it here here are some options you have but just so you guys know there are several ways to access the settings let's get out here and uh, bring that up again and let's just uh, click on that power button and as as the moment you click on it you get three options sleep shutdown and restart so this is where you control uh, these modes when you're in the tablet mode and of course you have Cortana which is a circular icon on the bottom panel so if you tap it it brings up Cortana you can talk to her or you can type stuff in where it says ask me anything so let's tap on ask me anything uh, which brings up the on screen keyboard and let's just search for an application let's search for Netflix so this is another way to actually launch an application that you're looking for fantastic and there is a couple other things you can do let's go back home and you can swipe in from the left which also brings up the task view so you can either press that button on the bottom or you can swipe in from the left which brings up the task view and again as usual you can choose any app you want while you are in the app you can swipe from top to bottom and then you can drag the app to the either side of the screen and this allows you to enable split screen multitasking so let's say you want to get rid of Best Buy you simply swipe Best Buy away just like this and let's do another top to bottom swipe and this time let's grab this and put it on the other side on the right side and let's pick file Explorer and again you have split screen multitasking and just swipe away what you do not want and swipe from top to bottom and swipe down and that actually gets rid of that application so that's one way to close an application and now let's take a look at customizing the tiles the apps on the home screen so press and hold press the three dots and choose resize you can go with wide view so you get a wide application uh, drag and drop the new ag app over there let's uh, change the size to medium so now we have a medium one let's do the same with the office depot change this to um, medium as well and there we go so this is how you can individually customize each tile there we go and of course you can seamlessly switch into the PC mode just disable tablet mode and you get the regular start menu and if you look at the start menu carefully these tiles that, that are over here seamlessly transfer into the tablet mode there we go okay so the changes you make here do reflect in the start menu this is absolutely fantastic very smooth um, and very nice transitions you do have a quickly accessible power button on the bottom left uh, if you tap it again you can sleep shut down or restart you know I'm really impressed at the uh, at the tablet mode on Windows 10 I'm impressed with Windows 10 overall but the fact that if you buy a PC like this which is a two-in-one PC a laptop slash tablet I love the fact that you can switch between the laptop mode and the tablet mode seamlessly and everything just works flawlessly and of course you have the App Store where you can purchase applications not as big and extensive as Apple App Store or Android App Store 
but you still have it. You've got apps, uh, you've got games you can download. And uh, let's just grab this game, for example. You just tap on that. It starts to install the game, and it goes into your app drawer. And uh, you can launch it from the uh, app drawer from the site also. So let's tap on Store right there. And as you can see, you have Movies and TV. Uh, you've got Music. And we already looked at that. You have the Games. And you've got a bunch of apps. So that's it. Basically, I wanted to make this video so you guys have an idea of what you're getting when you buy a two-in-one PC, which allows you to have a laptop and a tablet, and this is, in fact, the tablet mode. And I have to tell you, it works very smoothly, and I like it a lot. And, you know, the, the, the major point is that uh, if the tablet mode is not enough, you can always go to laptop mode, and that basically is a complete and full desktop environment. But tablet mode is very convenient for presentations, uh, for entertainment, such as watching movies, listening to music, or just doing some basic browsing. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.